Welcome to the fourth video of the Apache BIM series. In this video, we will build a template from the source code what we have seen on our last video and deploy that template into Dataflow in the Google Cloud Platform. So as a first step, we will authenticate to our G Cloud CLI with the Google Cloud Platform. So for that, we need a command prompt. And the thing is that we will actually switch the command prompt location to the root folder of our source code. So the easiest way is to do basically if you open the explorer and then go to the root folder which is this one and click on that and just type cmd and press enter so the command prompt which will open it will actually have this folder as your root so here we will do gcloud auth login And then it will show you a link. We're gonna actually copy that path. And in our browser, we'll paste it. And as we have actually used this account earlier, we're gonna use the same account. So let's click on that and we allow. So nice. So now if we open that command prompt then it says yeah we are open so it says now you're now logged in so your current project is cross cut data gcp that's what we're gonna work on cool okay now let's have a closer look into the command what we're gonna use to build and deploy the template so at first we are gonna build the project you know this is a maven project so we're gonna do maven clean install which will create our fat jar and then we will actually create the template using this command so i'm going to explain what this command looks like let's open it into a text editor so you can see this is a gcloud data flow command and we're going to use flex template to build the template okay so now let's go through the parameters one by one so to make it easy i'm going to make it each of them separate line So the first one is actually the location of the template where it will be created. The second one is actually the image GCR path, which is going to be the path of our artifact registry. So earlier we have enabled the artifact registry. So uh, when this command will be done, we will have a Docker image created into this path actually. And then we are telling this is a Java SDK uh, language is, is Java. Uh, and then the base image is Java 11 and this is this jar. This is actually this is going to be at the path of our local uh, local uh, folder uh, So we will update this thing and the environment class. So this is the main class So in our code we define like in which class contain the main method Okay, so let's update this thing and run this command in our G Cloud CLI. Okay, so the first one is the bucket. So let's get back to our G, uh, Google console. And this is the name of our bucket, right? So we copy this thing and we paste it here. And we maybe want to create a folder here. So we call it like maybe uh, templates. So all of the template will it's gonna create under this folder. Let's copy this link and then update it. There's gonna be bucket named in the template. And then this path of the GCR artifact. Okay, so now we will switch to the artifact registry. And here we will create a new repository. Let's call it cross cut data repo and it's going to be a docker repository standard everything else is going to be same let's just do us hist one and create one okay so the repository got created now we're going to get inside the repository and from here we will copy the repository url 
go back to our editor and update this thing so this is gonna be the so you can see this is the name of the server and then there's like a this the name of the project that's the repository name and then this is that the, this is gonna be the uh, artifact everything is same and then last one we have to change the jar file location so this part we have to change so the easiest way is to basically go over here and then if we go to our folder so it has the target folder but it doesn't have the jar file so before doing that we're gonna actually build it so we are right now in the root folder and the maven clean install so if you were doing it for the first time then it will take some time because it it has to uh, grab some dependency from online so let's be patient okay so the build is done so which created this fat jar for us so i will just grab the path this is gonna be our path copy the whole thing go back here and just update this whole thing so yeah i think we have done all the changes now let's put it back in one line okay so now let's copy this command and just run it here so you will see there will be some steps so it will create the docker image and push it into the artifact registry and along with that it will also create the template so while doing the build it is actually asking to enable the cloud build api so we have to do this thing as well so we'll enable it okay so the build has completed so now let's have a look on the what is the output so in the storage cloud bucket we have this template folder there you go so it got created this new template here right and if we go to our artifact registry we have this repository and we got a new artifact here which is the data flow and it has the latest tag this is the one that we will run okay so let's have a look on our next command which is the flex template run so we'll copy this command and open it in the editor so as you can see this is a flex template run and then we put a name for that pipeline and we just define the location of that template what we just built on our previous step so which is here we copy it and then we paste it here so before running this command we have to make sure our data flow api is enabled or not so for that we will go to our console we'll go back here and open api and services enable api and services data flow api this one this one looks like it's not enabled so we will enable it okay so the data flow api is being enabled so now let's get back to our command copy it open the cli paste it nice so the command is being run so now <coughs> we're gonna go to the data flow cons phase and see it has started it's on queue if you go inside there you won't see the graph yet but it will actually show eventually okay so the pipeline successfully ran as you can see the graph is showing here we have the read operation and the write operation and this is, looks good so now 
the moment of truth so if we go to cloud storage and then we have the bucket here where we have this folder which is supposed to be created and this is our file so let's click on that and if you click on that again it will open in a browser and there you go the file got downloaded into our own bucket so this file got read from a public bucket and then it we inserted this thing into our own bucket in our next video we will add an additional step in between this read and write and that would be our transformation step which will help us to modify our input thank you